Yo, what is going on, Steeler Nation? We are back after the mini bye week. We played Thursday night against the Browns. Lost, what, 29-17? Terrible, terrible, terrible. I am joined by my co-host today. What's up? Rudy, our junior, coming from a undisclosed location behind enemy lines, probably. Who knows? Uh, it's a different spot. I got for to him. Miami early, bud. <laughs> I got to Miami early. <laughs> He's scooping out the, the, the Jets right now. <laughs> Oh, did you see a uh, Miami's in Cincinnati right now, and people are recording their practice, their walk? What the fuck? That's yeah, like... that's fucking ghetto as <laughs> shit. What the hell? Wait, like, for real? Like the University of Cincinnati students, because they're practicing at that stadium. Uh -huh. I guess people are like recording them and posting stuff on on Twitter. Did they get there early? Well, they play tomorrow. They play tomorrow. I feel like I mean I, I'm speaking from from someone that just lost on Thursday night. Because we were on the road too. What if we had just flown straight there and spent the whole week there instead of just having to travel on like Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon? I think Cleveland's too close. That's to do true, that. actually. I didn't think about that. It's a bus ride. Don't they usually take a bus there? No idea. <laughs> um, but I feel like that would make sense, actually. Instead of flying back to, well, let's say you were on the road the week before, instead of flying back home for two days. Why don't you just fly directly there? I don't know. It, it, it's it's not my decision. Fuck. Um. Anyways, coming off the loss, uh, Steelers fall to one and two now. Um. Any any quick opinions or opening thoughts on the Browns game? Yeah, we look like fucking shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I I you know, it's pretty terrible. I I mean I want Mitch gone. I want Canada gone. Everyone's talking about, like, oh, it's Canada's fault, it's Mitch's fault. No, like, it's so obvious they're both dog shit. Like, Mitch is kind of looking better, but he's really not, right? And then Canada, you know, his playbook is about as interesting as, like, like a Costco hot dog. It's it's not that, like, it's it's okay. <laughs> for a dollar fifty, huh? You really, know what you paid for, there's, huh? There's a lot <laughs> yeah. It's a dollar fifty hot dog, but you know, <laughs> that's not you know, like, as This is exactly what you get, but everyone knows exactly what it is. Oh my god! Um, yeah, it's time to cut the shit already, dude. Like, Tomlin, Tomlin's starting to piss me off, and he had this press conference this week. Basically, I mean, I'm paraphrasing here. He said, "I'm seeing improvements in in Mitch, like week by week." Why the fuck are we looking for improvements week by week in a fucking six-year veteran? Like, if this was the the expectation, why didn't we start Kenny from the get-go? This is starting to piss me off. And it's frustrating because I don't see how I'm not right. We look like shit on the field. This team was 0 for 5 on third downs that were less than 5 yards on that Thursday night game. Um, Mitch in Cleveland territory that week was 5 for 11 for 18 yards. With more completions that last yardage than got first downs. There's, there, it looks like there's nothing working here besides the O-line getting like good PFF grades, which is like, I don't know, the one bright spot on this offense. The defense and that's only because Miles road. Garrett didn't play. Miles Garrett didn't play? I think he played. He just didn't I'm do anything. Sure <laughs> Fuck, did he play? Dan Moore's legit, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I, I don't know if he's legit. Respect um, to Dan Moore. He, uh, I'd replace Dan Moore in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we get a left tackle in the first round. Next year. Um, and, yeah, with the way Canada's running this, this shit, we're on pace for a top five pick. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw the power rankings have us at 26 after this game, too. Is that the lowest you've seen us, like, in, in, the, in forever? Yeah, I think that's kind of high for us, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, But really, like, um, we've had enough time now. It's been almost a week. Uh, We're recording this on Wednesday after the game. So we've had a week to, like, digest it all. So we're, these aren't our, our knee-jerk reactions. Um, But, yeah, the, the pain and the feeling is still there from that game. And the, the, the frustrations that are just... They're out there from our offense. It it doesn't it doesn't look pretty. Mike Tomlin gave us an indefinite no answer uh, as to making a change, uh, and that could be towards the quarterback or the OC. 
oil play calling. I mean, we could do this shit all, all, all week long, talk about, you know, what would you rather do? Whose fault is it? But, like, who has some type of hope for me here? I, I got one. Pick, Pickens is who we thought he was. A yeah. Fucking dog. He's a fucking dog. Yeah, I got, catch? no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, let, we can still talk about that catch because that shit is timeless. Jesus, he did the Odell. Oh my god, better. Yeah, falling like. Is it better like horizontally? Right. Is it better? <laughs> he was straight up. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he his 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 feet were above his head at one point, right? I want to say that. Yeah, he was like flipped over. The athleticism, the the absolute dog. Black Air Force One mentality of this athlete. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. We we have, I feel like top to bottom, our offense should be top 10 on a bad day. But we have like no glue piece. There's no glue. There's nothing to put this team together. I don't know. Um, Our run game is improving, but I feel like we're not even running the ball as often. Um. The O line is exceeding the low expectations we set for them. Yet that was the main reason why people were saying that we should go to Mitch rather than Kenny too, because you don't want to throw Kenny behind that offensive line. And then now they're saying we don't want to throw Kenny into the schedule that's coming up after the Jets game with like the four straight demons that we're up against. Uh what do you what do you guys think about this? This upcoming that's, schedule, the stretch. That schedule is really I wouldn't want to put Kenny in there. <laughs> I mean the Bills after the Jets and then the Buccaneers, the Dolphins and the Eagles. I yeah. think that's what maybe all of those are top ten teams. You know, we're we're calling out Tomlin here for living in his fears at this very moment. But this is the type of thing that he would do. Start start Kenny in this situation. And he's the type of he's the type of coach to say, I don't care who we're playing, regardless of who we're playing. It's just he's just gonna put him out there. And I personally think I, I I would love to see it just because that's how that's how we are right now with Mitch. Even if it means and he's gonna go up against this gauntlet of a schedule. What do you guys think? You think Tomlin's the type to just throw him out there to the wolves in this schedule? Uh, I think I think Tomlin has. Uh, I, I think, think I don't Tomlin's think got kitty gloves. <laughs> All right, just go, just go. <laughs> go, Junior. <laughs> I, I think Tomlin's got kitty gloves on for Kenny. <laughs> He's got what gloves? Sorry. Kitty gloves. Kitty He's gloves. got the kid gloves on. Yeah. The Mickey, Mickey Mouse has hands. He's got to just let him loose. You got to let Kenny spin. Pretty much. Um, Because, you know, at the end of it, when he if he comes out alive... We'll know he's our guy, and the rest of the schedule is a lot easier than that. And Kenny will, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say his confidence will be shattered going up against this 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 set of teams. But if he's your guy, he's not going to lose the confidence, and he's going to be able to, um, I guess, get up to speed quicker going up against these uh, these tough opponents. And then once we get to the other side of the bye week, we can make our run, you know. But we're staring at we're staring at what like two and two and seven right now before the bye, if if we're playing like how we're playing right now. Yeah, we'll be lucky to get two. Honestly, we'll be lucky to beat the Jets right now. Um, honestly, yeah, they have an actual system. Um, but yeah, um, another fact or another stat we we had we got or what the Browns had about fifteen more minutes more time of possession than us in that game. And I'm I'm also tired of this. Why is why is Mike Tomlin pointing fingers at everything but our offense? He basically said Nick Chubb controlled the game and we couldn't stop Nick Chubb. Like what what is this shit? Your offense couldn't stay on on third down. That's why the Browns were able to just run the ball as soon as they got up more than one score. This is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Um but yeah, enough of, let's 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 go to the next game now. I'm I'm over the Browns. They don't deserve this much airtime on this show. Um, but yeah, on to the Jets. Reported today, Zach Wilson will most likely be starting. Who would you rather play, Joe Flacco or Zach Wilson this week? 
Flacco. <laughs> this old. I think we we don't we're not getting any pressure right now without TJ Watt, and it's going to be harder to take down Wilson than Flacco. How, how was Wilson's mobility? He's mobile. He is. Yeah. Fuck. He's athletic. Nothing crazy. I've seen I've seen a lot of Jets fans really disappointed in Flacco, so I I think that's very bad for us. Uh, something about something about I don't know just the ghost of Joe Flacco. I mean, Halloween's right around the corner. I'd be nervous to go up against that. Just... I'd be worried for um like Chinese New Year, dude. A lead dragon as well. <laughs> Slay the dragon. Um. I don't know. Um, I was 50-50 on who I would rather play this week. I guess you take Zach. I guess also Zach Wilson coming off an injury, first game back. I guess you take that. Um, but yeah, we couldn't get any pressure. But surprisingly, though, Alex Highsmith is leading the league in sacks. That's another surprising stat at four and a half. Um, I hope I hope he could step up still. What do you guys think of that? Think that's, our defense could... that's not like a crazy amount either. Yeah. I Yeah, I, I mean I not that like I haven't noticed Alex Highsmith, but like I feel like our defense has, has fallen pretty flat. I he, I think he had two sacks in game one, so maybe that's why he hasn't like, yeah, he had like three, popped out too much to me in the last against game. The Bengals, oh, there you go. One and a half against the the Browns. Um all right, let's go back to this. So when when TJ first got injured we kind of agreed that our defense would go from top three, top two to top ten. Two two games later, albeit those two games were in a five day span. How are we feeling about that now? Top twenty. Top twenty. Sheesh. Yeah. I can put it on the middle pack between like fourteen and eighteen, maybe. Um, we did see some pretty good defensive games though this week. The the Dolphins absolutely shut down Josh Allen. Even though Josh Allen, I think the Bills still had like a shit ton of yards of total offense. They just only put up like 14 points, right? The defenses yeah. did look good this week, though, across the league. I don't know. Um, the Bills fumbled at the goal line, too, though. Yeah, I feel like that was a really weird game for them, but they still lost and the Dol- they still didn't, you know, they didn't put up any points. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's definitely gonna take all three phases to beat the the Jets who are dog shit, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, uh, there's a lot of folks down out there saying that this is a must win game right now. Uh, week four, we're one and two. We have this terrible schedule coming up. This terrible terrible stretch, you know, four game stretch. Are y'all calling this a must win? Uh, whether it be just for Trubisky's sake. For Canada's sake, for just overall the morale within the locker room, what do you guys think? I think it's definitely a muscling game for Trubisky and Canada. Like, if if we cannot get it together for one of the last easy games we have, not easy, right? No game in the NFL is easy, but for one of the one of the weaker teams we play in the next like month and a half, right? Then, like, if our offense can't get it together then it's obvious that that's our biggest problem you know i think tomlin likes pointing fingers at the defense and at not being able to get stops or at like execution um because you know if he were to talk shit about the offense like it's obvious to everybody you know he's it's like um it's like i mean it's like calling something out to everybody that's obvious and you don't want to draw more attention to I mean, you know, it actually I think, makes a lot of sense. Holy shoot. <laughs> right. Like, it's just, like for him to be able, for him to like single out the offense, especially because Tomlin is a defensive coach, but more than anything, he's the leader of our team. He's not going to like publicly shit talk the offense and create a huge controversy for Matt Canada's job just because like it's just not going to be good for the locker room. He's not going to create a huge controversy about Mitch Trubisky again because it's not going to be good for the locker room and for the team dynamic as a whole. Um, I'm sure he's had public talk or not public private talk, talks with Matt Canada. Like, hey, yeah, you better get your fucking shit together, dude. Like, we look like shit out there. Like, we we look super flat. Our our opening drives were three and outs, and that's when we should look, you know, our, at our best, right, or at our most prepared. And I'm sure he's also talked to Mitch about the same sort of stuff. 
right? Yeah. Yeah, Mitch was named team captain. When that happened, I didn't think Tomlin would stray from him easily. But that adds also adds to Tomlin literally cannot tell the media that he's making or thinking of making these decisions. Because as soon as you do that, you're starting to get the offense um, even more out of sync. And, and this is another thing, too. If you're, if you're, let's say you're just Chase Claypool, for example, here. How are you able to get comfortable to be able to, you know, you know, just be, you know, comfortable in the situation knowing that you have Mitch here, but you know, everyone else wants Kenny, or at least the fans do, and you don't know when this is gonna happen. How are you able to, you know, get this connection, this chemistry going, knowing that this guy is temporary? And I think this is also another reason why we're getting we're basically shooting ourselves in the foot here. Um I don't know. We need. I mean, I, we need something going. We have no identity on offense, and the players are saying this. And this is this is starting to get scary. <laughs> I think. Uh, um. Another thing too is, you, like Mike Tomlin needs Mitch to completely like. We we said Mitch was on a short leash to start the season, right? And maybe we we underestimated. Yeah, we underestimated how short that leash was, but at the same time, Mike Tomlin is 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 kind of showing us Mitch isn't it, right? He needs people to know that Mitch isn't it, so that way when we go to Kenny, and if for whatever reason you know Kenny's going to struggle, like he probably will if we switch to him in the next month, Kenny Kenny's going to struggle. He's going to look like shit. He's going to look like a rookie. He's going to have his rookie moments. There is no question in anyone's mind about going back. You know, he has, like, for him, there's no question anymore. They're saying... Like, I can't go back to Mitch because he fucking sucks, so I might as well just... So, basically, you're saying is, at this point, Tomlin is proving to the future doubters when Kenny does see the field that we can't go back to Mitch. That this is who we have left to prove. Just people that are going to want to go back to Mitch because you literally can't because Kenny can't be much worse. Or exactly, Mitch and is much he, worse. Yeah, and dude, if you're a head coach, you can't be fucking flip flopping. Oh, that's the last thing. Is. That's the last you know, thing Tomlin wants to do. Tomlin's the last guy to do that. Um, that's why we couldn't go from Kenny to Mitch to start the season. It had yeah, to be the other. Way exactly. Um, when you put it like that, yeah. But at the same time, too. In my eyes, I just felt like there was no, there was no situation where you would have needed to do that. You know what I mean? Like I thought, I thought from what Kenny showed us in the preseason, he looked more than ready and looked more than capable of being able to take on the full season and not have to get benched. Really, but, you know, he's eventually gonna have that one bad game where I guess Mitch just steps in eventually. But you know, you get able to go back to him the following week. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, let's get into the nitty gritty here. Jets coming in a uh, Pittsburgh Acrisure Stadium, second home game of the year. Uh, Chu, you want to read us the uh, the spread and odds right now? Yeah, so the Steelers are favored by three, and the over under is forty one and a half for this game. Hmm. Did we? Oh, it was the over last week, right? Because of the Najee fumble when we were the trying last... to do the the yeah the, last the what's it called laterals and shit. Um. Other than that, it was the under. Um. Again, I think. For the for for the first time this season, however, we are we are favored. Um, how do you guys think? How do you guys feel about being the favorite for this for this game? At home, not good. You think we you think we wouldn't be the favorite if we're on the road right now? Well, minus three at home is pretty much like even. So if right. it was neutral site, it would just be a pick 'em. Huh. 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 Oh, yeah, I was about to say like we're barely favorites, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, like if we were away, it would be minus. It would, we'd be down by three. You know, I'm gonna take the the under. I don't think I don't think either of us break twenty points, to be honest. Um I'm gonna go over for this game, actually. I think uh both defenses are gonna be lackluster. Um and they're just they're just we're gonna have just a mindset on offense finally to put it together. Um and yeah, we're we're gonna I'm gonna take the over for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the over too. Forty-one and a half. Yeah, 
that's like that's like 24 20 not even like or right yeah yeah um i feel like a final score of 2017 should we go into score predictions now i haven't even thought about this one this is gonna be off the top who's ready i'll go I'll, uh, I'm going to take Steelers 27, Jets 24. Oof. I'll say uh, Steelers 20, uh, Jets 17. Are you going, are we going Steelers across the board here or what? Yeah, give it, give it to me. Uh, I, got, I got confidence in my boys. Um, I do say we start slow a lot, and that did happen last year. We started 1-3 last year, uh, but that Week 4 game was a Packers game. In Green Bay, so I have a lot more confidence that we're not going to go one and three. Give me the Steelers, twenty six nineteen. Give me that. Um, let's get into other other bold or flaming hot, red hot predictions for this game. What do you guys think our predicts going to happen? I love this part of the show. I got one. What's up? I think uh, I think Mitch gets pulled after the second drive in the first quarter. <laughs> Chewy saying this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fine. that's spicy. So two drives for Mitch, maybe two, three and outs, maybe a, a turnover or something, and then it's time for Kenny. I got one. We're gonna get Kenny Chance. The first play Mitch takes the field. As soon as Mitch takes the field, we're gonna be getting Kenny Chance. I know. I think it took till the second half. But the Kenny chance to break out against the Patriots. I mean, I'm not I'm not at the games. This is from the TV. Uh, take the second half. I think this game we're gonna hear it. We're gonna hear it as soon as Mitch takes the field. That's one of my bold predictions. It's not really on field things. That's just you know this is one thing to consider though. I think uh, you know fuck my score prediction, dude. I think <laughs> it's gonna be a. <laughs> I'm just I'm just fantasizing right now. Wouldn't it be sick if it was like 21? He's cutting three out. Jets going into three the third jets. quarter, and then and then, Mitch, <laughs> and then Kenny comes out and wins it all. That'd be awesome. Oh, I think that tequila would be coming out if that happened. I'll, let me tell you that, like it did on draft night. Um, I got another one here. Eight shots for my boy. Eight shots. Remember y'all y'all went y'all went uh twenty four shots in eight minutes for Kobe. <laughs> I was gonna see him up there in heaven, but <laughs> um. I got, I got, I got one here. Um, give me a Jalen Warren touchdown. Give me that. I'll take that. I, I say Deontay gets two touchdowns this game. Oof, oof. Purely for my fantasy league purposes. <laughs> really, for my fantasy. I want to see a breakout game from Elijah Moore. Uh, <laughs> purely for my fantasy. for the same reason. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping this is a shootout, 63 to 60. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Taking a... the over, Elijah Morris cements himself as wide receiver one, <laughs> with Deontay as wide receiver two. One thing we forgot to mention, we're going to be having a, a backup punter. I mean, I guess I guess he'd call it backup, but former Steeler Jordan Barry will be uh, replacing Presley Harvin for this game. So give me, uh, give me five Jordan Barry touchbacks. <laughs> for this game gonna punt five, that, that's how times? much mitch like, is gonna be gonna be fucking punting the ball <laughs> uh, i'd be surprised if we get five drives uh, no, i would hate that i might turn off the game if that prediction comes through um what else is going on do we have a defensive one anyone got one for the defense I'll see Cam Southern makes a turnover play, force a fumble or a pick. Hey, what's the injury Mika... status? Yeah, he st- was was Mika concussion in concussion protocol? protocol, and uh, what about uh, Akella with his hamstring? I mean, I'm pulling it up right now. Boys. Uh, Mika practiced today. Mika Mika was a uh, full participant. Akello did not practice. Oh, it's saying Presley Harvin was a full participant. That's interesting. Well, right now, Jordan Barry's on our practice squad, and people are saying that he's most likely going to play. Um, but yeah, he's going to have five touchbacks. Or Presley Harvin's going to have five touchbacks. Um, what's another one here? Anything from the coaching side? What about uh, over under 50 yards for Najee? 
rushing. Rushing only rushing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over actually. I think that's gonna. So, so I that's gonna take... be one of the things we try to do to help our offense is just run the ball. I don't know anything about the Jets defense to be honest. <laughs> um, I could see. I could see Najee dropping. Cut off. Himself, like, He's good. Oh. I could see Najee. <laughs> you drop it on the like little fuck. Uh, right when he gets to the good part. Hey, all right, if you guys didn't hear, I think I think Junior's saying I can, Najee's going over a hundred yards total. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. Okay. 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 I would also take that for fantasy purposes. <laughs> I would settle for a couple of Pat Fryerman touchdowns as well. <laughs> As you can what tell, my fantasy, uh, my fantasy team isn't This good. is the worst <laughs> year to pick Steelers on your on your fantasy team. Jesus. Yeah, I got I got three of them in my starting lineup, and it's, I'm 0 3, so that's all you have. <laughs> Holy <to>. shit! <laughs> I, I don't have any Steelers, and I'm 0 3, bud. So, like, once it, when it comes to the draft, I just homer too much. Like, I say I'm not going to do it, and I just do it. And I regret it. And it just feels like everything falls into your lap. I'm like, oh, this this perfect opportunity. Yeah. The the computer the fantasy computer robots telling me this is the perfect pick right now at this at this round, and I'm not gonna try to outsmart the supercomputer, so I'm just gonna take it. You know it's fucked up. <laughs> what? I think I, I would get more gassed up for Najee scoring me a touchdown in fantasy than like actually scoring a touchdown for the Steelers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> That, that's that's where my priorities are. <laughs> At this yeah. point, oh, when you're one and two, this is what it feels like. Uh, um, yeah, you... I'm trying to think of another bold prediction here. So I said I said Jalen Warren touchdown, and Kenny Chance two coming out. Two interceptions by Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. All right, how about this one? How about this one? He's rusty, and he's gonna be slinging it. Over under three and a half total interceptions. From the two starting quarterbacks of this game. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go over because that means Kenny's probably coming out, right? Kenny's going to be warming up. In that scenario, yeah. <laughs> and in that case, I would <laughs> let Kenny sling it. I would let Kenny sling it. I don't care if he throws three, too. Just let him go out there. I said three and a half, like three and half by over. the starting quarterbacks combined. Kenny's not the starter. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Mitch though, three the, pick sixes. Imagine Mitch throws his first pick six of the of his career. That's the, the thing though. His career Mitch, as a starter. Really? Oh, he just came in as a backup and thrown a pick six. No, no, I'm saying to end his career as our starter. Oh, as our <laughs> starter. Oh. Yeah, that'd be the way to go, huh? Uh, I don't know, man. I just, I just, I just dream of seeing the reports on Twitter of Kenny Pickett is now warming up and it, and like you know, and Mitch is Mitch is just on the bench or some shit. Uh, so but this is it though right if uh if this game doesn't pan out is it really are we really going to be waiting till after the bye week haven't we said that like three weeks straight yeah (laughs) i wouldn't be too mad at that because that means we would just lose so many games and we'd have a top 10 pick might get uh, a nice offensive lineman for kenny is 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 tom and just living in his hopes that he could just be above 500, though. Hey, them adding this extra game really, really, uh, really is really hurting that stock now, right? Yeah, I hate the math. Those chances. This game. It's hurting these chances for Tomlin. What if they go eight, eight and one? Would you guys be fucking pissed? Yeah, I'd rather go two and 15. <laughs> What's the point of being middle of the pack in the NFL, dude? What if Tomlin right now he knows he's tanking on purpose with, with Mitch and Kansas? That's what that's what I was thinking, but I was like six beaters deep. That Thursday night game, so I was like, when I woke up next, I was like, nah, that can't be right. Tommy can't be taking. Hopefully, he's just playing 40 chess. But he's already cutting. That would dude. It's just miserable that I'm at, I'm at school the whole day, and I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, we had this game later today, the Thursday night or that day, and I'm just dreading seeing our offense and Mitch take the field, and I was just like, dude, I'm going to need some fucking beers for tonight, because this is not fun. And it looked fun in the first half. Do we remember? Actually, we moved the ball pretty good. Look good. See and the service. second half looked terrible. 
Oh my god. Does Tomlin actually care about being over five hundred? I feel like if Tomlin, the standard really is the standard, then you shouldn't be, right? Who knows what the standard is nowadays? It seems to be lost in uh lost in current times. Um, Our standards went away when Ben retired. I don't know, man. Um, I'm I'm throwing it out there. I want to see Ben as OC when when uh, Canada gets fired after this game. Uh... <laughs> who's, who's your top OC? Uh, probably the fucking Rams, like past game coordinator or some shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Chewie knows the name. What's his name? Zach Robinson. Zach Robinson. <laughs> he's gonna lead us. He's gonna lead Kenny and us to the playoffs next year, and then the year after that, we'll win the Super Bowl. Zach Robinson, and then he'll get a head coaching job the year after that. And then who's? I would be? take that. Fuck. Who would be pull after that, bro? You know it's bad. When people are like, bring back Todd Haley, Ken Wisenhut, what are you doing at Penn State? Come over really quick. It's getting bad out here, guys. It's yeah, I getting feel like bad. They're always, they're always stuck in the past when it comes to coaches, and it's kind of stupid. Like, <laughs> bringing, bringing in those guys right now would not make any sense. <laughs> like, NFL has changed so much. Let's get someone that's new, that's young. We don't need to be going back in time. Um... Yeah, that's absolutely right, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to leave it at about that. You know what I mean? Um, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about this season, guys. Um, I feel like it's the same shit week after week that we've seen Mitch. Um, we had a nice little surprise after we beat the Bengals, but weeks two and three literally looked like a script. And that script was the same thing for both games. Um, I'm not going to give our defense any shit for not being able to stop the run, et cetera, et cetera, because our offense is not staying on the field either. Um, and it's just a recipe for disaster. Yeah, any, any other closing notes, guys? No. Damn. I'll see you all at one and three. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> see y'all one three um but yeah until next time Steeler nation make sure to like comment and subscribe peace